how are you all doing hope everybody is well today i'm going to look at something a little different we're not going to look at bitcoin we're not going to look at the stock market we're not going to look at individual stocks um today we're going to look at something a little bit closer to our hearts at pro traders lounge and that's baby doge and this little meme coin has been an absolute blessing to everybody within the lounge just to give you a quick recap before i jump into a previous clip so we were looking at baby doge in a london live session back in mid-november so roughly when we were here on the charts and a, a london live session we were live charting and we're trying to find setups live in the time it was myself Amy, and h paul it was a three hour stream uh, that i believe on that day and we just stumbled upon baby doge seeing some things that we liked and we started to compile a plan and that plan happened to be very nice in the end with from the absolute low of this move to the high to the current high was 1200 percent so i'm going to play a little clip from back in november show you how it played out up until now and then after that we're going to look at charts with a fresh eye and see what can we find next what's the next setup and what to look for next for a potential compound position now that we've taken our profits do we get the compound position or does this meme coin just die and we'll find that out so here's a quick little clip from november from a london live session it's not the same it doesn't have to be but as i always no. say close enough is good enough and that was just by oi because i remember that so if we're going to get this fractal and play now again i will just now i'll have to chop it up a little bit but really we, it could be something similar should we sweep those lows you know i would i would be setting alerts down there should we sweep those lows that we could have something similar so we'd be looking for a swing failure of that region there on baby doge and we could again it may not happen now it may not happen tomorrow like this is saying january again i'll do this properly i'll do this properly when we get off the stream but similar price action a similar kind of feel to it down at this low i don't know much about that coin but drop down and we're going sideways since may 22 six months what's what's and volume like very very similar volume because i always look at volume oh look, look at the volume <laughs> yeah it's not dying is it it's just no no. no look at that it's increasing increase. so yeah. it would be nice to flush yeah. down to the down to the uh, the lows and like look at those cells those cells were absorbed straight away and mm. there were big cells absorbed straight away price hasn't dropped yet yeah. so for something like this take out those lows and then off to the races Okay, so now that you've seen that little clip from November, you can see we were all we were looking for was that move down below that range. We had our fractal to give us a heads up. Got the move down. Myself, the pro traders, the members, we were all waiting for this. We were sitting on our hands, waiting for this move. When it happened, price came down. We knew what we wanted to do, and we traded it up. Okay, so as we're coming up what do we need to do we're taking profits along the way but we had some major take profits up here at the highs so up at 430 and 4 uh 450 we were looking for those additional take profits so you want to take those profits off the table which was right up at the high of the move so far and now what we want to look for is what is going to happen next do we get a chance to compound those long positions and get another chance for another leg up or does this fall apart and that's what we need to know so let's look into it okay so now we're on a different exchange what this gives us is a little bit more extra price action to play around with and now we can start to build a picture so as as we we're saying we got our move took our profits now we're going to see can we find some levels to trade from okay so first things first you're gonna just look at that visual sr level 
really aren't you so you can see it here has been resistance support inside has been support when it was lost resistance support support again support flipped resistance and then it was resistance from may 22 up until we broke back up above it we have now breached above that sr level and we are now coming back within it one thing i like to actually mark here is when you have such a big sr level like this it's just to mark the equilibrium doesn't have to be exact just to give you an idea and you can see that like the 0.5 of this zone let's call it has been well respected so that's the first thing next thing we're gonna take our fibonacci from the low of the impulse up until the high and we have that golden pocket area coming in just at the low of this sr so right down where we had resistance 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 do we flip this now into support we've come down into the 0.5 of that zone and what else can we layer on this so we do need to get a volume pull on this put that back okay so we have our volume pull and we have that value area high coming in on that low as well so let's add that in our value area high now we can take this away for now it's of no use to us so we have a value area high of this range for from may the current price action and the golden pocket is lining up nicely now one thing i'll add is like with all kinds they do tend to respect trend lines a lot so let's let's try from this from here to here let's run our trend line and you can see you know we had our bounce we came back down lost it back tested and then drew, squeezed back above that you know for anyone who was trying to short the back test of that trend line you know you can use them to counter trade you can use them for reference but nonetheless they are useful so we have our trend line also we have our value area high and our golden pocket now i want to look at this area of price action here okay and get a volume pull up here so we'll take it from when it came into that sr zone let's call it to when it dropped out and we're right now we're kind of down at the value area lower just above the value area low of that previous range hmm okay so swing below that would make sense we just go up onto a higher time frame do have a nice weekly level here that we could use for a back test i don't really like to use these levels but there they are nonetheless below that level then we do have like you do have an order block here again i don't want to have too much on the chart i think this So what we wouldn't like to see just say, say we start to come break down here what we don't want to see is a loss of this level back test because then we can just have that move down to take out all these lows very important what bitcoin is going to be doing also but that's a different story so what we do want to see is price to come down tap that level with a reclaim and start to make our way back up and on that reclaim is when you're going to get into your position now i do have something tasty in the artillery which i'll share with you today and that's another fractal okay so like previously we did have this fractal on the other exchange which i will share now we did have this fractal that worked out perfect for us okay so let's see what we get 
which you know you, you can adjust these as we go along but that kind of does play into the plan that we have that potential area of support which in, in my opinion is a key area of support that we would want to hold you know so down into this area thereabouts we would want to see price holding uh for this to continue up and to get another move to the upside if you guys do want to know where i got this fractal let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to share that with you so yeah we have a value area high golden pocket we have a trend line we've got that sr zone we also have a sweep below of this value area of the previous range and a fractal the whole lot so you know we do have that potential of that move up bearing in mind if we turn off the fractal now bearing in mind that the move from the low here to the high was 1200 percent if it is to follow this fractal and they don't always follow them perfectly but that's a nice move to the upside so this is what i would be looking for on baby doge again it, it really depends on how how we arrive at that area but this is what i'm going to be looking at very simple analysis it's just what you do when price arrives at that point and that is what i will be looking for is this so again i would say with all meme coins or all coins i would be very cautious trading them on your demo accounts but nonetheless this will be an interesting one to set an alert for a reaction and let's see how it goes again if it starts to lose this level and back test we don't want to get involved we've already had a 1200 percent move from the low to high we're simply looking to see do we have an area for a potential uh potential compound if not no harm on to the next one but this is an idea that i have on baby doge hope you all enjoyed it if you want more of these kind of streams on all kinds and some little gems like baby doge let us know again in the comment section and that's it for me hope you enjoyed it